and whatever happens on Capitol Hill today won't change the fact that tomorrow the Affordable Health Care Act rolls out in earnest. People can start signing up in the exchanges, but there's a word of warning about scams. Two News reporter Patricia Santos is live outside a Midtown hospital with this consumer alert. Patricia? Well, this is very important to note because the government will not be sending emails or sending anything on the mail or sending people knocking door to door uh, to sell you this new insurance under the Affordable Care Act. Those health insurance exchanges we've heard so much about will start up and be online Tuesday. And unfortunately, so will the crooks who are always fishing to get your credit card or bank account numbers. This might be the opportunity of the decade for the fishers. They're expected to dress up emails to look legitimate and entice you to click on links that lead to no good. So if you get an email that says, do this or you're going to lose your benefits, there's a pretty decent chance you're going to click on that and look into it. Internet security experts say the crooks plan to cash in on the confusion of the Affordable Health Care Act, also known as Obamacare as well as the process. I don't know how the legitimate exchanges will be able to distinguish themselves and their emails from the phishing emails. So they say if there's ever a time to be vigilant, it's now. We need to be suspicious of it. If it comes, if it's unsolicited, comes from someone you don't know, that should be an automatic flag. If it's poorly written, is another flag. Another thing that will help people, no matter how annoying it might be, is every time you go to one of these websites, Go up to that address bar and type it in manually and re-log in that way. Don't use any link sent out by anybody. They also say don't be in a hurry. People who are eligible to buy health insurance through the exchanges have until next April to sign up. And remember, the insurance marketplaces are only for people who don't already have health insurance. Most people don't have to do anything. Live in Midtown, Patricia Santos, 2 News works for you. And we've made it easy for you to find more information. Just click over to KJRH.com. There's a story about health care fraud with numbers to call and local information for the Tulsa Association of Health Underwriters. They are certified to help navigate the health exchanges, and it is free. Now, coming up in our next.